Ow. Oh, oh god. Well, I think that answers that question really, doesn't it? Very far down. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get a light of things here. It looks like we're in somewhere very dark and deep. Dark and deep indeed. Ooh, I think that's a piece of her. Ooh. <laughs> Is this the right way? Ooh, yeah, okay. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. So... God. The scale of things here is, uh, wild. Oh, Keep out. Do not enter. Condemned testing area. Keep out, keep out, keep out, keep out, keep out. Hey, do you think they don't want us in there? But I want to go inside. Let's follow the do not enter signs, yeah? Don't enter. Keep out. Keep out. We get it. You don't want us in here. It's gotta be some... I know how to pull levers! Ooh. Ooh. It's danger time. It opens up. Let's see how big this door's gonna be. Come on. Impress me. Ooh. Man, I love Fallout. Big vault doors and everything. Wow. Uh, it... Wait. Wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Seriously? <laughs> oh. Caution, don't lean on railings. Danger, you will drown and become bones. Let it be known, I'm trying to lean on the railing. Come on, let me, let me asset myself. No, no, I could just jump in there, but then I die and I look like an idiot. Ooh, Welcome I've got your sense. Oh, really? Who is ready to make some science? Oh. I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. Hi, Cave. I own the place. The wow. eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Mm -hmm. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Mm. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, She's Carolyn. She's the of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> She's married. To science. Oh god, I wish I was so lucky. Science doesn't even want to return my phone calls anymore. Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science, 1955. Science and Business Institute of America, best new science company to Aperture Science in the year of 1947. 1943 Aperture Fixtures for shower curtains. Not nice. Well done, well done, Cave Johnson. He's really an entrepreneur. He went from, you know, shower curtains to potato science to, uh, uh, Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up. Uh, well, not two years in the running, but, you know. Local entrepreneur by salt mine. I'm supposing that's the so that's the place that we're in right now, huh? Wait for attendant to begin lift. I'm my own lift attendant now. I'm guessing that we're basically going to have to be consistently off the beaten path with all of this right now. Because uh we don't have any guides. No one living is in here. What are your allergens? Pollen, animal dander, plastics, antimatter! Out from the dark and uh into the light. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Oh, good. Son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Oh. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. That's slightly monstrous. It's it's like the old days before we had everything become like you know microprocessors and things like that, and it was giant. And clunky and ridiculous. Good times, good times. We need a cube. Is that the cube? The cube orifice? I'm guessing we need to jump down there. Because bouncing is gonna save our momentum. Of course it bounced all the way over there. All right, and over we go. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. <laughs> that gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> if I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can. You very much can. Should you? You're going to terrify all of your potential workers. Seems like a bad idea. I don't think you should listen to the lab boys. You should listen to HR. <laughs> Can you imagine what HR would be like for Aperture Science? For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Oh. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Uh, oh no. But I don't, I don't want tumors, please. Good thing I come packed with my trusty lead underwear at all times. Oh, in case you got covered in that go. repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, <laughs> and it does not like the human skeleton. That's horrifying. Honestly, like, can you imagine if your bones would bounce off of everything that they touched? Given that they are touching meat constantly, that would be bad. That reminds me that, um, depending on the, the medicine that you take in a day, you may actually have potentially, like, coloured bones. Like, some medicines can turn your bones, like, green, for instance. I would like a splash here, please. Thank you. Oh no, my bones. Is this really the way we want to go about this? I don't know if that's going to give us enough distance, is it? Oh wait, no, we can put a blob down there. And then when we jump through, it'll cover the whole, we'll be able to get the whole way there. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and now we just jump through and wake this. Oh, God. Okay. Heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could oh. harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, nah. don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Oh, okay. I, I won't do that then. It's okay. It's only my frontal lobe. It's only got my, you know, personality and shit. And what is this about here? Accidents hurt. You, you will be hurt. This is the threat. <laughs> Straight up. If you're hearing this, Perfect. it means you're taking a long time between hey! The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. It's not a fear reaction. I'm not scared. A bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm up a beach, or bring back gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Yes, let's solve it. Please stop calling me, son. It makes me very sad. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh. I caught you. Fear not. I can't, I can't make enough power to be able to do that, huh? Am I not strong enough for you? Am I not good enough? When is it my turn to be happy? Uh, what am I doing? We need to make it over there. Let's try and... I don't know. Spew a whole bunch of liquid everywhere. Well, this is easy. And then we can just, like... I don't know. <laughs> Problem solved. Why, why, why not? Exactly. Thank you. You know, I probably would marry Safe Science. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. I'm doing As my best. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. Yep. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, nice. Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> she is a gem. She's perfect. Goodbye, Carolyn. Elevator to the surface. We can get out. We can leave. Finally. Oh, I have a feeling we're not going out that way, are we? Mr. Cave, I want to go home. You know, thinking about that, actually, it's been... Rochelle, it's been years and years and years since she's been at a place that she could call home. She is stuck here forever. God, look at these Apple II ass fucking desktops. I love them. I love them so much. Even in the past, when we're all like, you know, these beautiful retro machines, you know, big boxy stuff with the wooden panels, they're still above us. 
observing us constantly. This place is a little bit messed up, huh? I'm seeing an angled bit of concrete there. Friend, oh, I'm hi. Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. Hi, hey, Cave. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Oh. Demi Black Mesa. <laughs> so this is the period in time where uh, Aperture Science had to <laughs> outsource their talent. What's this say? Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there's got to be a reason why they started using the orange ones, right? Oh, hi. Oh. Say, you're good at murder. Could you murder I... this bird for me? I'm not good at murder. I didn't stab you. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an yes. eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Well, you button yourself out, didn't you? Out. That extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball. That little idiot <laughs> is going to... Don't get angry, come on. You need to relax a bit. She's kind of cute when she's powerless, you know? The testing no. area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? She got too excited again. So we do this to be able to get a big, nice, fast ramp, I'm guessing. And then we want to be able to jump across, no? So... Let's pop. Ooh, okay. Always unnerving when that happens. Uh, uh, let's not have a portal there. I think we're gonna have to die. If you're interested in an additional sixty dollars, flag mm -hmm. down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back oh. together. Good as what new. kind of science stuff? Is it good science stuff? Or are we talking like, you know, more tumors and things? Because I, I, I think I'm, I think I'm spent. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Identifying things. Tube, tube. Blue. Orange. Tube. There. Exit. There. Where's a button? There's a button. Button flips that. I'm gonna guess we need to do something with that over there, maybe? Cover that in blue so we can, so we can shoom, bow, bow, like that. I'm guessing that this is something here that we need to interact with. Process of elimination here. Let's get some blue onto that thing there, because we're gonna need to bounce off of that, I'm betting. That makes our platform there. We can run in here. I think we can go and get the cube. Yeah! Cube get. And then we wanna drop down here. The cube. Without falling off and killing ourselves. Oh, wait, no. We need to get that covered in blue first, huh? Yeah, okay. Alright, I think that should be good. And then now we cube it up. So we can go now into that place here. Alright. So run straight ahead and bounce across all the way. Ugh. Let's go! Oh. Oh. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta yep. do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're <laughs> scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Oh, really? Scooping them out, huh? That's a bargain. You hear that, Gladys? They're scooping them out for free? Actually, we're being paid. That's unbelievably good. There's no way we're going to the elevator to the surface, is there? It's never happening. We're never getting out. We're never leaving. I'm stuck with you forever, Glados. Not that you mind. You sociopath. <laughs> Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I have I been the whole I... time. All the pump stations working. Get away from see some of the super loud machinery. Because, uh, that's really got a look to it, huh? <laughs> oh no. Carla the complainer says, My new boss is a robot. 
But did you know? Robots are smarter than you. They work harder than you. And they are better than you. Volunteer for testing today. Wait, as in... To become a robot? Or to work under a robot? Welcome to the enrichment center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Oh, nice. Employee retention, however, has not. Oh, as that's a result, not good. You may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Uh. Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Oh. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, make lemonade. Let's all stay positive. And do some science. Keeping positive said, is good. I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Oh. He's not doing too good, huh? I'm just realizing now that the, the gels are the same colors as the portals are. Do you still better color coding? Does that mean that the blue portal is the slow one? And is it raspberry flavored? The orange one is obviously orange flavored. Know your paradoxes. In the event of a rogue AI, stand still, remain calm, scream, this statement is false, new mission, refuse this mission, and does a set of all sets contain itself? Good. Good question. I can't deal with paradoxes, my brain. I'm, I'm, I might be an AI. Robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. Volunteer for testing today. That doesn't really convince me to become a tester, really, does it? It convinces me that I'm useless. Here we are. Oh, don't make this weird. 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 Please don't make this weird. I beg you, don't make this weird. Okay, okay, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't keep on spreading my lunar sediment everywhere. I think they made this game specifically for, uh, for me. Is there a way to get up and up high here? Let's have a look around. I honestly just started spreading the white and didn't think about what I was doing. Life gives you lemons. Don't huh? make lemonade. Yeah. Make lemons. Yeah. Take the lemons back. Yeah. Get back. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see <laughs> life's manager. Yeah. Make life rule the day. It thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I like this guy too. You invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. Now, now she'll argue. Sure. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you yeah. make her. <laughs> now, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Back to my desk. Not even to my home. Ah. Uh... Is this implying what I'm thinking it's loosely implying? Isn't that GLaDOS is, at least in part, based on Carolyn? If so, that's mildly fucked up. I know things look bleak, but that they crazy do. man down there was right. He I is. Take these lemons. We're not taking the lemons. Right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. Yeah. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, that's okay. I'm not going to lie to you, the odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity. Yeah. I think this is a very linear sort of way to get out here, isn't it? Let's do... Orange into blue, bounce on the thing, do the stuff, let's go, woo! We did it. You have to be proud of me because I'm doing such a good job. By law. By law, that, that is, at least. Okay, okay, we made it. We did it. Flying flippin' colors. Ah! Oh, oh, no, 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 We made it with flying flipping colors. We're in the gross dimension. It's time to cover everything in white. Oh, oh, okay. That's a novel interaction, isn't it? Wow. Shall we? Have a look? Ooh, okay. Uh, here I am. Potion, watch your step. I'm watching it, alright. Uh, okay. Oh, that place was very loud. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
I'm guessing it's a pumping station. You know, this reminds me of Factorio a little bit, because this looks like Spaghetti Junction in a lot of ways. Ways that you might not be happy to hear, because I make Spaghetti Junction every time in that game. <laughs> we need to get... where do we need to get? Do we need to get up there? Oh, okay, we could make our way down. Aha! Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Oh. For a second, would you? We still want to layer on. Paradoxes. No AI can resist thinking about them. Really? I know how we can beat him. You think so? A paradox is going to be the thing that beats him. Uh, he is an idiot, you realize. Yes? Idiots don't tend to be able to understand that kind of thing. And even if we're doomed, you know? Like, do you want to rely on wordplay? Of all things, I guess it's not really word players that go on. Show me the tiny little thing that connects me in here. Oh, uh huh. Does this mean that he's gonna have access to the gels now? Up. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's get down there, shall we? I think Wheatley with the gels is kind of terrifying because I don't think even Glados played with that. Yeah, did she? Uh. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Probably. Probably. <laughs> oh. oh no. 